It's a high six time for the Boston Celtics. The team is preparing for game five of the NBA Finals. But while there is a championship on the line, there is also a focus on the heart of the team, a woman who's never played a game. ABC's Will Reeve introduces us to Heather Walker, the Celtics' biggest fan whose battle with brain cancer sparked a nationwide movement. Right back to Horford inside for the slam. The storied legacy of the Boston Celtics has been long solidified in sports history with 17 championship banners and potentially another around the corner. But for many who love the Celtics, their real team hero isn't basketball legends like Bill Russell or Bob Cousy, or even current stars Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown. Please join us in honoring today's hero among us, Heather Walker. It's like a dream come true. A longtime vice president for the Boston Celtics, for Heather Walker, this return to TD Garden is a homecoming after a long and difficult year. I just can't believe that I'm back here. Last summer, Walker began to experience painful headaches. At first, doctors chalked up her symptoms to exhaustion due to her busy schedule as a working mother of two. And just days before her 50th birthday, a CT scan revealed a devastating diagnosis, stage four glioblastoma, a rare and aggressive form of brain cancer. The same illness that took the lives of Senator John McCain, Senator Ted Kennedy, and President Joe Biden's son, Beau. When I got the diagnosis, I couldn't believe it. It was surreal. Like, I had no idea what glioblastoma was. I have brain cancer. I have no, like, what am I doing here? The day after the golf ball-sized mass was discovered growing in Walker's brain, she was wheeled in for brain surgery, followed by months of radiation, chemotherapy, and treatment. Her diagnosis came as a shock to those around her, especially her colleagues with the Celtics, who know Walker as a gregarious and committed team player. It was like being hit with a, an avalanche. Heather means everything to the Celtics organization. She's really our heart and soul. She's such a force of nature, such a like person with so much life. Well wishes began to pour in from across the country. Just want you to know that we pulling for you. We love you. Thinking of you. Praying for you and your family. Love you, Heather. In the weeks after her diagnosis, Walker created the Move for Heather Challenge. Join me as I move for Heather. It can be walking, biking, even getting some shots up on the court. An initiative that aims to raise awareness and funds for brain cancer research. We are asking people to do something that moves you. The campaign asks people to check things off their bucket list and spend time with loved ones. We had um, a friend of ours jump out of the uh, out of an airplane. We've had my mom's best friend did a quilt, you know, and like we've just, just had basically anything, anything, anything that moves you, anything that moves you. With over $600,000 raised in under a year, Walker is determined to share her story in an effort to bring awareness to the disease, raise funds for much-needed treatments, and someday find a cure for cancer. I got to go through another surgery? Like, am I going to be able to talk after this? I don't know. But it's not fair. It's just not fair. Sorry. Just to help us. Why can't you help us? Cancer has been around for so long. It's time that we pull those resources together globally and we fight this and we get rid of cancer. It's time, it's, it's enough. Hashtag move for Heather has inspired countless people to live life to the fullest and demonstrated what being a Celtic is all about. Walker remains unfailingly positive and steadfast in her hope that someday soon, not only will she be back on the court celebrating an NBA title with the Celtics, but there will be a cure for glioblastoma and all forms of cancer. There is hope. Just stay positive. Keep on moving. We're going to get there, and we're going to be cancer-free. Yes. I can't wait for that day. We're all rooting for you, Heather. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.